my Round Lake Beach project almost ready to list. I am actually excited about it. So final preparations and going over punch list, meeting my general contractor today because things always need to be done, done, done and done. But I'm happy with results. I'm happy with finishes. And um, yard always requires lots of work, especially this is a huge yard. It's uh, 0.5 acre. And as you remember, we already showed the story. Do you remember story with the tent? Someone started camping on our front yard. Oh, well, it's all gone. It's all gone. These people do not bother us anymore. And the uh, house awaits its new owner. Okay, this house is located in Round Lake Beach. It's close to shopping centers, schools, recreational areas. And it's 10 minutes away from the largest chain of lakes. So if you do like boating, that's your location. And it is located in Lake County, which has 33,000 acres of forest preserve. I love hiking, I love walking. For me, it's important to live in the area like this. Is it important for you? Again, consider this home and it will be a very affordable home, a starter home or an empty nester home. We're gonna ask 315,000 for this. Let's see how much attention we get. Also, it is located 45 minutes to O'Hara Airport and 50 minutes to Chicago. And Wisconsin actually very close by, so it is potentially good buy for a person who lives, uh, who works in Wisconsin. What do you think about this color? It's a new color. I really love it. Very neutral, grayish, silverish, um, bluish. So showing my uh, contractor, mine are tiny cracks, so that require touch-ups. Maybe a little cabinet adjustments. Um, um, dishwasher wasn't secured, but so far everything looks amazing. Kitchen cabinets, contemporary kitchen cabinets, 42 inch tall, uh, modern quartz. Amazing floors. I am actually so impressed with the results, how vinyl plank floor in the kitchen matches existing floor that was um, sanded and restained. Brand new stainless steel appliances. So I'm actually very jealous to the person who is moving in. So how kitchen has walk-in pantry, nice island and breakfast area because these days people like to gather at the kitchen and um, have fun at the kitchen and be entertained. We removed grills from the windows. I think it's more modern look, but we will keep them as uh, probably new owner would like to have a little country style. Um, for this project, we didn't buy washer and dryer, but we are going to give a credit to the owner. So the modern feature for the kitchen is uh, open open shelf concept where you can put all decorational things. What do you think it gives? I believe it gives kitchen such a cool look. Like you can put books, you can put flowers, you can put like small vases. I love this faucet. Okay, I think we, we did a really good job on the kitchen as a kitchen sells home, as you know. Let me show you primary bathroom suite. Wow, first of all, it's big and it has separate seating area, vaulted ceilings, new, brand new fans, brand new cans, brand new switches and outlets. Oh, smells good. I love the smell of fresh paint. And this amazing bathroom suite, it's, it's really great. Brand new vanity, brand new mirrors, uh, modern light fixture. I brought some stuff to decorate for showings. It shows better. So you can take a bath and look into backyard, which is getting better and better, cozy and cozier. Wow, for great outdoor enthusiast, it's going to be wow, wow house. Huge walk-in closet. 
people these days like to have lots of clothes and organizational stuff. Brand new walking shower. Uh, well, I don't think I'm gonna test as it works. It, wo it works. <laughs> I'm locked. Oh my God. So many modern bathrooms, that they have, don't have wall between shower, between uh, tub and the toilet. I think it's good to have some privacy. Hear me again and uh, let's go back to see the rest of the house. This is modern ranch. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So I just showed you primary bathroom, brand new carpet in neutral color. Oh, I'm very excited. So the center of this family room is a fireplace and we changed the surrounding around it. Do you remember that old tile, that part of it, it was cracked? Now it's a quartz, um, quartz surroundings. And um, also, if you remember that brass lines above and below the screen, I actually repainted black. And I want to show you, I want to show you that picture to remind it how it looked. It's such a small touch, but with that brass line, fireplace looks like it is 60 years old. Now it looks totally modern. So remember when you do some updates, remove that golden, 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 all golden, ugly color that looks like urine sometimes. Okay, and <laughs> it could look like urine, it could look like champagne, but it's such a fine line. <laughs> so this kitchen flows into this space, which could be used as a dining, formal dining room, or I like to use it as an office. It also has tall ceiling. I purchased iron chandeliers that give this house modern farmhouse feeling. And um, yes, it's, I guess, I believe it's amazing space for the office. So this part of the house, it's very private and actually separated from primary bathroom and family room. So it's a little isolated, which is cool feature. It has two bedrooms, also decent sized bath bedrooms with closets and shelving a little spot probably for a desk to do a homework brand new fans brand new uh, door handles brand new carpet and this bathroom that connects two bedrooms in this part of the house we did few updates we actually painted the existing vanity cabinet placed a brand new light fixture this is existing, it was clean, brand new toilet. And I think it's good, good enough, good enough. What do you think, guys? Should be a total renovate this bathroom or looks good enough for like guest bath? One more bedroom, brand new fan, brand new carpet, freshly painted, just ready to move in. So this house has two amazing features. It has huge unfinished basement and huge backyard. If it is important to you, then let me show you what they are. This is full-size basement. It is almost 2,000 square foot. It is huge, huge unfinished basement, and it is an open canvas for your imagination. What you're gonna use it for? It could be your personal gym, it could be storage, you can build another bedroom and recreational area here, you can uh, put extra bathroom, so it's totally up to you and depends on your personal needs. We're gonna keep it unfinished, so new owner decides what to do with that. And ceiling's actually tall here. And if you don't finish ceiling, you just spray it black, I guess it's gonna give you spacey feeling and modern industrial look. Well, no entry beyond this point, but <laughs> you're welcome because basement is amazing it's it has no cracks which is for basement is a rare thing it smells good it feels good 
So create whatever your imagination allows you to create. House doesn't have city water, but it has a private uh, well, which is quality of private well water is, um, is pure and clean. Um, it's a furnace. Do you know what it is? This is a water well. It is a private water source underneath of your house. And you don't have water bill. That's what amazing about it. You might need some water softener for that, but it's not a big deal. Lots of people prefer this type of water to public water source. Water heater, furnace is newer, and uh, we have um, 100 amp electrical panel. Outside this property continues to impress and it has uh, oversized yard. It's a potential unlimited ideas for your landscaping ideas, for storage for your probably RV, a boat, there is enough space for everything. And a big plus, big plus, it has a fence. So it is a fenced yard. So look how much space it is here. Do you like to grow garden? Here we go. Actually, it's like a field. You can grow corn, you can grow potatoes, you can grow tomatoes, whatever, whatever you like. We are still working on few items, trying to fix uh, um, down spots, removing all the cute stuff that used to be here. And that shed, I believe that shed needs to go because part of it rotten. So for better presentation, for showings, I need clean, clean look. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and like us and watch our next video.